Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back. I need you to pray for some sun for us. Less humidity and a little more wind. Because right now, today's conditions are the exact same thing as yesterday. And we saw how that turned out. But, ran to the auto parts store this morning. Got all my parts for this truck. So, while we're waiting around, going to go ahead and get it back together. Give you guys a little comparison on these two. Look how much metal we've worn away. That's ridiculous. Can't believe we never found it before this. New seal is in. Time to get some Loctite on these puppies and get this rotor mounted to the hub. Either this is going to go smoothly or it's going to go very wrong. I feel like I need help you on that. Now I just got to get the seal seated. Uh, we're not overconfident on the preload that it should have and whether that inner seal has been seated. So we're going to wait till we get a true spindle nut socket that we can torque down the right, the right torque and we know it's seated correctly. So we moved over to this side to start. Was just going to be putting brake pads on. Turns out that this caliper will not slide at all. So we're gonna replace that one too. Which means, truck's back on pause. What about that, the silver truck? That it's would weird. work if the corn was up that high. Oh, it's not up there? No, I think it's... I didn't think we pulled very much out of there. I thought we just cored it. Well, I can look. So what we're trying to figure out now, we need one more load to finish this contract out. And if you've seen our previous video, our grain leg is still inoperable. He's, Dustin has been hauling out of the overhead. And from what we can judge, there's only about a half a load or so in there. So we're trying to figure out whether it's worth loading the truck for whatever we find out is in there. Or if we just hold off a day or two until our leg's fixed. 68,000 bushels in it. So yeah, you're almost half empty. Two thirds full. There's no way there's enough in this bin for that side chute, is there? Okay, I didn't think so either. Yeah, okay. Nope. It was a good thought, but I think it's a bust. Right at the bottom. My, maybe a little up my thought is there's more in there than we think. I'd say we try it. Try it. Yep. Once I start, it's too late. Yep, once we start, we gotta haul it in, so I hope we're not hauling in a 400 bushel load. We got probably 750, maybe. Probably about 750 bushels in that truck. So definitely worth it. It'll finish out the contract and it's not much short of a full load. So it's not like we're wasting a trip over there. So that was good to see. Optimistic when we first came up here, but we made that first pass. Hopper averaged less than 15%. So for us, that's close enough. We say anything under 15 and you gotta run. So as the day goes along, that should slowly keep dropping as the heat and the wind and sun continues to dry the wheat out. So it's about 240, elevators open till six. And then we've got two trucks and an auger cart we can load after that. So let's see how much of this we can get done today. 
All right, so right now I've got about 30,000 pounds of wheat on me, which is a mix of everything we did yesterday and the one pass we did today. Uh, it's definitely wetter stuff from the times we were just trying to sample and we didn't like what we were getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out between this truck and the one that Dustin's bringing. That way it'll mix the best it can with the drier stuff and hopefully we don't go in with a load that's too wet. That's pretty close to half of it. Now I just got to wait on Dustin to do the other half. I think this should be our last calibration load. He's getting pretty close. He was actually a little heavy last time, so we wanted to do one more. Now that we're done with our calibrations, we can start dumping on the go to maximize our efficiency. So turn my guidance on here, um, edit my track, and dad is running a 357.5 degree angle, except yes. That way, when I am catching him on the go, I can use auto steer as well. He's leaving me this 40 foot pass because he can make a full round and then we'll catch going back south. So I'm gonna set up where I normally go. It's normally just on the right side of his track. And then I can center my AB line. Now all I'll have to do is engage it and I can worry about where the spout is and not what my what line I'm driving. I'm a little I'm a little too far away still, so all I gotta do is do a couple shifts closer. And it makes it real nice. Real nice, Clark. You can tell there's a lot of material going through the combine right now because he's literally running 2.8 mile an hour.
Well, we're running four pieces of equipment with three guys. With three guys. So, Dustin wasn't quite back with that first load by the time I got this semi loaded. So, I jumped in and now I'm headed to the elevator. I think I might have gotten a little carried away. You gotta love seeing an open dump. No trucks to wait on, I just pull on, dump, and get out of here. Now that's what I like to see. Only truck in here, in and out in probably 15 minutes or less. Okay, welcome to the cab. We're gonna go ahead. Jared's gonna catch up to us and we're gonna get unloaded here. About 24,000 pounds to put on him, which is 350, 400 bushel. Does it fairly quick. It's definitely slow going. Weight's really pretty good. Uh, I kind of use this bar here to gauge my speed. Uh, try to run in the yellow which is the upper end of the power. That's just showing you how much total power I'm using. So most efficient is right in there, up into the yellow. Want to stay away from the red. That gets a little scary when you hit a power bolt where it puts you into the red. Got that empty already? to fill again. So basically here we've got 40 foot flex draper is what they call it. Basically it's got your reel. It's just kind of holding the back of the wheat. Once the sickle bar cuts it off it just kind of falls onto the draper. The draper pulls it into the center and into the combine. We've got all these different adjustments for the combine, uh, rotor speed, clearance, fan speed, and your sieve uh, adjustments to clean your sample and to keep up, with, keep as much of the grain in the tank and not going out on the ground. Shows your coverage map. Uh, we're currently running 13 percent, 102 bushels an, hour, an acre right now. That's an instantaneous. This is your guidance where you set your guidance. These are sample. You can see the draper belt that pulls the grain into the center. That pretty well covered about everything that 
going on in here. So we'll probably hand the camera back over to Jared. Let him continue. Check out who came to ride with me. Can you say hi to everybody, Mr. Zion? Tell him hi. He's the next Mr. Cates. Are you watching the monitor? You're not getting any smaller, buddy. Say hi, Daddy. I'm a grown boy. Got all these muscles already. Yeah, he's got his muscle tape on. That's right. Yep. We did have Eden in here as well, but as soon as she saw Papal in the combine, she's like, I want to ride with Papal. So, Dad's chopped liver when it comes to Papal. And I bet he's got some snacks in there. <laughs> and he's probably got some <laughs> snacks in there. She's probably in there talking his ear off. It's all about gymnastics today. Yeah. yeah. That's her newest obsession is gymnastics. Fun riding with Papa? Yeah. Yeah? Huh? You... Uh-huh. What'd you what'd you talk to him about? Oh, you talked to him about your brother. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Zion? Yeah. Yeah. Here he goes. You wanna tell everybody bye? Can you tell the camera bye? Right here. <laughs> Thanks for riding with us. Did you have fun? Hey, can you be at our house? You want me to come home? Yeah. Okay. Can you not be at work? I... As soon as... See, see that truck over there? As soon as we fill it, we'll be done and I'll come home and see you, okay? Sound good? We gotta go home and make Daddy some food for his <gasps> birthday. Yeah. You gonna make me dinner? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Thank you. All right. Hey, I love you, baby. Can you remember? I can do it. <gasps> there you go. I love you. Ah, uh, I love you too, baby. <laughs> All right. I, I see you. you. I love you. I love you. Be careful. Yep, you too. See you later. See ya. You can't tell me that's not one of the best parts about farming. Knowing that, yeah, you may put some long hours in, but when they want to come see you, hang out with you, spend some time with you, you know they're always welcome to. Alright guys, well that truck is full. This auger cart. It's very full, and Dad has like half a round left, which he can hold on the combine. So one good day of running, and we're going to finish wheat. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap on our very long, exhausting 85-acre wheat harvest. Everything is loaded down. Got to wait till morning to get the trucks emptied and then we can get the auger cart and the combine emptied and start the long trek back home. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Find that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, oh, my hand's full, Dad. We'll see you guys in the next one.